Yeah, so when I first built it, I didn't have a very good exhaust system on it, so it, it really rattled the windows when you're driving around town. So I was driving down the street, um, some people stopped and turned around, they looked right over the car, they were obviously looking for something other than a 1992 Toyota Cressida. And then the look on their face when I pulled away, once they realized that, that all that noise was coming from a Cressida, it was quite funny. <laughs> My name's Chris Hughes. I'm a firefighter and an instructor at the Dirtfish Rally School. I drive a 1990 Toyota Cressida with an LS1 in it. So I used to drive a Honda uh, cord wagon. Uh, my son Dylan crashed that car, so he owed me a car, so he had to buy me another car. I couldn't find a Honda that I liked. Um, my other son Dayton had a Toyota Cressida at the time, and I really liked riding in his car, so we went and looked for a Toyota Cressida. So the process of building the car took about a year. Um, the biggest problem was getting the transmission in the car. I had to cut the whole tunnel out of the car. That took quite a bit of time. The goal was to make it look stock inside, so I had to do lots of trimming and lots of work inside of the car. So the engine is a 5.7 liter LS1 bottom end uh, with LS2 heads. It's got a Texas Speed cam in it, a uh, Holley 95 millimeter throttle body. Um, it's got a Nissan CD009 six-speed transmission. The Cressida handles 400 horsepower really well. Um, it's got BC coilovers, it's got excessive suspension components on it, so it, it's definitely built to take the power. It's still a nice car to drive, but it goes really fast. <laughs> so the dream when I started building the car was to show up at a drift event, dressed in some overalls, maybe a tie, uh, look like the old Formula One driver from the 1950s and go out and do some drifting with the boys. My boys are into drifting, um, so they wanted to build some drift cars, and I'm kind of an old-school hot rodder guy, so I like the V8s. We'd done some LS swaps on a couple of their drift cars. Uh, we did one on a 240SX and an RX-7, so we had a few extra parts laying around, so I figured I'd make my Cressa a little bit funner to drive. It's funny to watch people's face when you show up at some place and they look at the car and they hear the noise and you can see the puzzled look on their face. And then once they realize what's going on, you see the smile and they know what's going on then. I've had several of my friends, after giving them a ride in the car, say that's the fastest car I've ever been in in my life because you just can't describe what it's like to step on 400 horse in, a, in an old 1992 Aggressive. So the future of the car, hopefully I'm going to get on the track and do some drifting. Um, it'd be really fun to go out with my boys and do some tandem mayhem with the Hughes family. <laughs>